if your manufacturer does not offer punching for girths and purlins, these framing members will need to be fastened to the frame with screws. While your columns and rafters are on the ground, mark the location where purlins and girths will be connected. Marking these pieces on the ground is safer than doing so after the columns and rafters are in place. The Z's used for purlins and girths will have different shaped legs. This is so you can nest the smaller legs into the larger when your Z's overlap at each portal. Beginning at an end portal, connect the larger leg of your first girt to the end wall column using the fastener pattern shown in your construction documents. Make sure that your girt is plumb before inserting all fasteners. Fasten the first girt to the second column with a single screw. Once you've nested the second girt with the smaller leg into the first, you can attach the girts to the column with the required screw pattern. Use a clamp to hold your girt in place anytime you are attaching a Z with a smaller leg. You can easily slip the next larger Z in place and fasten both Z's to the portal when ready. Use the same method of installation for your rafters, working from one side of the building to the other. Remember to keep your purlin line straight and set the shorter leg Z's on top of the larger so that they nest and use the required number of screws at each connection. 